to 2019, where everyone is obsessed with young progressive women. Women like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, and Ilhan Omar are receiving praise upon praise for their beyond leftist ideology. Why is this small group of females being labeled the face of millennial women? In our society right now, feminism is running rampant. You know that whole, all women are great, women are better than men mentality? Oh, but only liberal women. You're a conservative woman? Sit down, your opinion doesn't matter. Where is the media obsession with young conservative women? Johanna Hayes, AOC, Nancy Pelosi, and Ilhan Omar were recently featured on Rolling Stone magazine as women shaping the future. These people cannot be serious. AOC wants to get rid of cows, Nancy Pelosi can hardly speak words, and Ilhan Omar is an anti-Semitic supporter of Sharia law that promotes the brutal abuse of women and the idea that women are the property of their husbands. And these are the people Rolling Stone chooses as role models for young girls in our country? It's embarrassing. As a woman, I sincerely hope that Sharia law is not the future of our country. Let's look into these girls' platforms just a little closer. AOC wants $93 trillion to tear down every single building in the United States and rebuild them to be more eco-friendly. Oh, and let's get rid of all the airplanes and build a railroad that stretches across the globe. And we need to do all this within 12 years or else we're gonna have World War II. Memo to AOC, World War II happened 80 years ago. I'd love to go on about the absolutely laughable comments AOC has made, but it would take me hours. The ever classy Rashida Tlaib screams profanity in front of her young children. She lied about her residence to run for office and is a huge supporter of abortion on demand. And her ex-husband is biologically related to her mother. Oh, and Ilhan Omar, well, she married her brother as a part of an immigration scam. Do I need to say more? Why does Rolling Stone promote American future with inbreeding, Sharia law, and anti-Semitism? Thanks, but no thanks, Rolling Stone. Hard pass. These women do not represent me, and despite what Rolling Stone claims, they're not going to shape the future of American women. Anti-Semitism, Sharia law, and inbreeding don't represent women in the United States, and they have no place in America's future. These women may have loud voices because the media gives them a platform, but American women would do well to ditch Rolling Stone and any other rag that pushes this degeneracy. With Big League Politics, I'm Sunny Joy Nelson.